in the late 1970s, Main Street Church of the Nazarene, led by Reverend Bill and Rita Stewart, had a vision to start a new church in the northeast end of Scarborough. Our starting congregation of 30 to 40 people began holding services on Sunday, November the 4th, 1979, at Brimwood Boulevard Public School, one block north of Finch and Brimley. The name Rosewood was chosen to identify the congregation with the surrounding community where we would eventually construct our first building. Thank you, Lord. Join me. Thank you, Lord, for the vision and sacrifices of Reverend Bill and Rita Stewart and our Main Street Church of the Nazarene in helping our Rosewood congregation to get started. Lord, bless Main Street Church and Pastor and Mrs. Stewart. Amen. My wife Cindy and I arrived in June of 1981 to become the first pastor and wife team to lead our beloved Rosewood Church of the Nazarene. In 1979, Main Street Church had purchased what was almost a one-acre church building site on Alex Muir Boulevard for $110,000. Throughout 1979 to 1982, our Rosewood congregation with the help of Main Street Church, Canada Central District, and our headquarters, General Church in Kansas City. All together, we worked hard to pay off the land so we could work on constructing a church building. In 1982, after applying to about a dozen banks, a dozen banks and financial institutions, we were finally approved for a $350,000 mortgage from the Toronto Dominion Bank. We started construction on our first church building on Alex Muir Boulevard on October 7, 1982, and we moved into our beautiful new facility on Sunday, April 17, 1983. In the end, the land, the building, furnishings, landscaping, and parking lot ended up costing us a total of about $750,000. About 15 years later, on July 5, 1998, we paid off our mortgage. We paid off, I say. We paid off our mortgage of $350,000 in full. Thank you, Lord, for the generous and faithful giving of our people throughout the years. In 1983, we developed a long-term master plan. Initially, we, we called it 15-year master plan and then extended it. We developed a long-term master plan for outreach and starting new churches. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to have a part in starting our Rosewood Chinese Church in 1986, Markham Village Church in 1987, Whitby Gateway Church in 2000, and Richmond Hill Solid Rock Community Church in 2008. Lord, we look forward to starting a new church in Ajax in 2015. Lord, we pray for your blessings upon our Rosewood Chinese Church, Markham Village, Whitby, Richmond Hill, and the Ajax Church and their wonderful pastors. Our Rosewood congregation grew spiritually and numerically, and in October 1998, we purchased eight acres on Milner Avenue here in Scarborough, where we currently worship. We paid $1,275,000 for the eight acres. That in itself was actually a miracle because the price of land then and now was in fact much higher per acre. We sold our previous church building on Alex Muir in July 2000. We started construction on our present church building in September 2002, and we moved in on Thanksgiving Sunday, October 2003. The cost of construction and furnishings was about four and a half million dollars. From July 2000, 
to October 2003, when we were without a church building, we held our church services and Sunday school at nearby Centennial College, just down the road. About five years after we moved into our present church building, we proceeded to work on our balcony, on our church balcony, and completed it at a cost of about $700,000. This means that the cost of the land, building, and furnishings in total came to about six and a half million dollars. The major, just before I say that, we want to praise the Lord. We want to praise the Lord because as of today, remember I said at one point we owed about three million dollars. We want to praise the Lord because as of today, we owe just under 1.3 million dollars. Amen. The major stewardship campaigns which we began holding in the year 2000 have been an incredible blessing spiritually and financially. Lord, we praise you for helping us to always fulfill our giving for world missions, our giving to our district budget, and our obligations to our mortgages and other ministry expenses. Thank you, Lord, and church family for helping us to meet all of our financial needs. We thank God for the small nucleus of people who started our church. And as you see, a few of those beautiful people are on the platform here today. And if Mohan could take a few pictures for us, that would be appreciated. We thank the Lord for the people who have come to faith in Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for those of you who indeed, over these years, have put your faith in Jesus as your Savior through the Rosewood Church Ministries. We thank God for others of you who have joined us along the journey. You have become a vital part of us. We praise the Lord for those who have experienced entire sanctification, turning over your heart, mind, soul, everything that you are to the Lord with all your being. We rejoice over those who have been called into the ministry. And several of them, those who have been called into ministry, serve on our staff. We give God thanks for the love and encouragement of our district superintendents across the years. Reverend Lauren McMillan, Dr. Ron Fry, and Reverend Ian Fitzpatrick. We thank the Lord for many of you who pray and give your time, talents, and money for the Lord's work. Would you stand for this final reading? To God be the glory for the great things he has done in the past 35 years. To God be the glory for the great things he will do in the next 35 years. Amen and amen and amen. Let us sing, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I'm so glad I'm a part. We're so glad you're a part. We're so glad that you are a part, my friends. And we give God praise for the privilege that is ours to give our hearts to him and to say, Lord, how grateful we are to belong to you. How thankful we are to know that we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, no matter who we are. Amen, amen. Let us sing. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Joined us with Jesus as we travel this side. Lord, I'm part of the family, the family of God. Of God. I've been washed 
two of you would like to just give a brief testimony of what this church has meant to you, we want to give opportunity either, either to one or two of you here or to one or two in the rest of the congregation. Anyone want to say something? We're 35 years gone. <laughs> That's all I can say. But it's good to have your memory kind of worked on sometimes to remember how God has done amazing things in the life of this church and in our own lives. Opportunities for ministry in different areas of the church over the years, back before our retirement age came on us. But we just praise God for what, has what he has accomplished in the life of this church. We just sang the song, I'm, part, I'm, a, I'm glad I'm a part of the family of God. And as I look out to everybody here, I am so glad that we're all one family. As we travel this journey for the last 35 years, it has been a wonderful journey coming from the first building that we started 35 years ago, coming through to uh, Centennial College and on to here. But I must thank the Lord for the blessings that he has showered upon all of us not just myself, but so many of you. And uh, it is all because of our obedience and the trust that you have placed in the Lord Jesus Christ over the years. This is a wonderful place to come and worship. But as we worship, let us also remember that our heart should be in the right place, even though we're in the right place here at Rosewood Church of the Nazarene. So I encourage all of us as we continue the journey for the next 25 years, to just make sure that our hearts are also traveling along the right journey for the next 35 years. As one of the ones who uh, was originally starting uh, the church, I just would like to thank everyone. Um, I would like to uh, have everyone also remember that there were uh, many, many people who went on before us. And... Uh, they actually uh, have gone to visit their Lord and Savior. And those also should be included in, uh, in the, uh, this, the great opportunity that we have as we've had the, these number of years. Uh, and I'd just like to thank the Lord for his love. And one of those precious people that has gone on before us to be with the Lord is Stan's dear wife and others like her, his wife, Debbie. Let's pause and give God thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those that are part of our congregation now. We thank you, Lord, for those who have been a part of us across the years, who have left this earthly life and are in heaven with you because of their faith and trust in Jesus. We, re we remember with great gratitude men and women and some young people who have been a part of us across the years and now are in heaven watching down upon us. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Thank you for the precious memories that we share. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want our group here to feel free to take their seats. And as they do, recently... We received a beautiful letter, a wonderful letter from Dr. and Mrs. Ron Fry. Dr. Fry was our district superintendent here in Ontario before Reverend Ian Fitzpatrick came into this ministry position. And uh, uh, when I read it, I was deeply touched. And he and his wife happened to be here today when he wrote it. Uh, I don't know if they were going to be here, but... I'm so happy to see that they are here. Dr. and Mrs. Fry, why don't you come up, please? Come. And why don't you read this letter initially? 
Go ahead, go ahead. Welcome them. Yes. Initially, I was going to have Pastor Lisa read this letter, but since uh, they are here in the flesh, <laughs> God bless you, Barb. So nice to see you, and so wonderful to see Dr. Fry. Blessings on you, sir. We love you. We love both of you and appreciate you. And uh, why don't you do us the honor of just, just reading this beautiful letter that you wrote us. So you take the mic here, brother. All right. And, and uh, Pat, if we just make sure that those monitors have plenty of volume so that everyone is hearing, I'd appreciate it. I followed the ministry of uh, Pastor Nick for a good number of years. And I've been amazed at what God has done in and through his life. I just, this is the letter that I wrote. Dear Pastor Nick and the Rosewood congregation, Barbara and I wish to extend our hearty congratulations to you on the occasion of the congregation's 35th anniversary. The Rosewood story is truly amazing. We rejoice with you as we remember the good things the Lord has accomplished through the life and witness of this congregation. People have come to know Jesus, have been discipled in their faith, and shared God's love with their world, all as a result of the ministry of Rosewood Church. Pastor Nick, you are to be commended for your strong leadership and dedication. God raised you up and blessed you. And we believe he will continue to bless you as you follow the leading of his spirit. We thank God for the calling he has placed on your life and the way he continually works through you in the lives of others. We offer you and the congregation our best wishes and prayers for your continuing success. With kindest regards, Rod and Barbara Fry. Thank you. Reverend Fry, would you please do us the honor and lead us in prayer asking for the Lord's guidance and blessings upon our entire church family. Father, what a beautiful day. As we reminisce in what you have done in our midst. We thank you, God, for this church and for its ministry and its influence in this community. And we thank you for Pastor Rick and Cindy and their family. We thank you, Lord, that the way you have blessed them and used them in so many different ways. So, Father, we just commend them and commit them to you this morning. And we pray that uh, the foundation that has been built in the past 35 years will help us to build strong and better in the days that come ahead. And we believe with, with your help and by your spirit, we shall continue to see and accomplish great things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, thank you, Lord, for all who in the past who have given of themselves in so many different ways to further the ministry of the kingdom. And we pray that as we move forward, that there will be those who will rise up and continue to carry the burden and to share the faith of Jesus Christ, our precious Lord and Savior. So, Father, we commit this day to you. We commit this church to you. We commit this people to you. And pray that your blessing will be continue, continue to be upon them as they move into the future. And we'll give to you all the praise and all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Fry, and thank you, Mrs. Fry, for coming to the platform. Amen. Yes. Well, after church, we invite you to join us in the Fellowship Hall for... Uh, fellowship and some cake and just a brief celebration. And we want to give to each of you a wonderful gift. Pastor Lisa, would you like to tell folks what that gift is? And do you have a sample of it? Or are you going to keep them in suspense till later? Well, on your way out, you will get a special gift and you will find out when you get it after church. <laughs> And so we also, we want to make sure that everyone gets one. So please remember one per person so that we can make sure everyone does get one. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Amen. Well, it is our privilege now to celebrate our faith. 
celebrate our faith as the family of God through the Lord's Supper. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. And so, if you 